Okay, so OCR history, the Vietnam War, the final large topic and the even larger topic of the Cold War. Yeah, the Vietnam War, I'm sure you all have heard of it. The first main topic in this is why the US got involved. It's kind of similar to the causes of the Cold War in the first place. I'm going to rattle through these because it's one of the smaller topics of the Vietnam as a whole, Vietnam War as a whole, and it just, it generally isn't that hard to remember. You just need to know a few basic things and that'll pretty much answer most of the questions. All right. So, number one reason that the US got involved in Vietnam, in the Vietnam War, containment. Exactly the same sort of topic, uh, sort of subject as the cold, causes of the Cold War, containment. By this point, 1960s, the US are still trying to contain communism. They failed and succeeded in certain areas of Europe before, now they're moving on to Southeast Asia. So, they are very afraid that communism is going to spread there, because there has been a communist revolution. It has not succeeded yet, but there is one happening in North Vietnam, and they are trying to turn South Vietnam and unite North and South Vietnam into a communist empire. So, of course, the Americans are like, no, I don't want that because they were, of course, trying to spread their belief of capitalism and trying to stop USSR, Russia, from spreading their belief of communism. So there you go. That is one of the main reasons. Secondly, domino theory. This does play a part in actually a lot of the, uh, as I said, the Cold, the Cold War topic, but is more present here. The domino theory was this, and this is, I'm applying it directly to Southeast Asia. If Vietnam became communist, it was believed, due, this, this is the domino theory, that other countries surrounding it would soon follow. They would also become communist pretty shortly afterwards. You can see why they might have thought this, because, you know, if uh, my neighbour went ahead and, uh, you know, bought a new, let's say, um, a new, a new ring. So, let's say they buy this ring. Then it is more likely that I, even if I'm not going to buy that ring, it's more likely that I will at least know about that ring and are more likely to look it up than if they did not buy the ring. Same thing applies here. Bad analogy, I realise that, but I hope that at least demonstrates the actual point of it. With domino theory, if the Vietnam, if Vietnam fell to communism, the US felt that the, camp, the countries surrounding it would also fall to it. For that exact reason. Uh, so, moving on. Another thing. You've got to keep in mind that the Vietnam War at the beginning was not fought by the US. Um, it was in fact fought by the Vietnamese, who were being sponsored by the US. Um, which was supposed to, of course, be a secret if possible, but really wasn't. Um, and so because of this, another reason, the US was starting to realise that the South Vietnamese army, that's the capitalist half, simply could not stand up to the North Vietnamese one because the North Vietnamese one was larger, more dedicated, and just generally seemed more dangerous. So that's another reason to get involved, to make sure you succeed, because the South Vietnam Army did not seem to be strong enough. And lastly, and I think personally this is the weakest reason, and it's hardly a reason at all, but it is a reason given by the US at the time, and all sorts of other jibber jibber, to defend the US. Now, of course, you might say, well, how the hell is Vietnam going to invade the US? Don't ask me. Just to defend the US against the spread of communism, really. That was the weaker of the four. I would definitely go with the other three. Those are the main reasons, really. There really isn't much more to say. Um, apart from, you need to now know how the US got involved directly. Uh, what was the sort of flashpoint? Everyone has a starting point. Well, the Vietnam War had already been going on. As I said, South Vietnamese Army versus North Vietnamese Army. This has been happening for a few years by this point. Um, or, well, a year and a bit, at the very least. Um, and essentially, what ended up happening is something called the Gulf of Tonkin incident. The whole story behind this was simply this. A North Vietnamese vessel shot down a ship, shot down a US ship, a friendly US ship. Now, if this was true, you can of course understand that it could be as used and as an excuse to declare war. However, it's up to speculation as to whether this actually happened or not. All we know is that America used it as a way to start a proper full-out war and not look like a total, total bully. Same with Cuba. They look for excuses. So there you go. That's the causes of the Vietnam War. That's the entire mini-topic. The Vietnam War is, I would say, just a larger topic as the rest. It's just split into more, in, into more sections. Four. Four sections. Or you could take two. I, I prefer the four. And that's the first one. So there you go. Causes of the Vietnam War. Done. After this, the events of the Vietnam War itself, the tactics of the USA and the tactics of the Viet Cong, or the NLF, as they were properly known. 
the last topic, of course, being why did the US pull out of the 